All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And first, where's all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming here live with another video, man. Hey, quick question for y'all this morning, man. Look, we know that Zion Williamson had 31 points last night, and he's been playing like a man possessed in the last couple of games. Um... He's actually playing a lot better than I thought he was going to play as well just because I didn't know what to expect. A lot of people didn't know if he was going to play inside, if he was going to play outside, if he was going to have to have to be able to hit the mid-range jumper, all of that stuff because a lot of people thought that he was going to end up playing the 3. As it stands, it looks like they've got they've gone a lot more toward a Charles Barkley approach with Zion meaning that they got him playing uh they have him playing a, a small four, or I mean a, a big four, small four, whatever you want to call it. It's nothing small about Zion, but the thing of it is, he's an undersized four, I guess. You know, an Elton Brand of sorts, or, you know, he's 6'6". But he's got the big body, he's got the ever-explosive hops. So from what I'm seeing, he's got the body, the girth, and the explosiveness to get somebody on his back keep him on his shoulder and then he's going up with the left hand or he's going up with the right hand and he's able to fend them off they are not able to compete with they because you know a lot of times when people try to block your spot especially in the gym when you got bums trying to block your shot they always try to come through you and block it like yeah i block like bro you can't jump as high as i can how did you block my shot like can you touch my hand like i used to tell people like stand right there and touch my hand from there you you're over here i want you to touch this hand and they can't do it. I'm like, so how on earth did you block my shot without without coming into me? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. So, he's got the ability, but the older I got, the bigger I got, so I can just shield that off. Now, I just jump right into him and go up, ain't nothing they can do about it. Same thing with Zion. Not comparing myself to Zion, but I'm just saying that the way that he's playing basketball right now, he's getting inside, he's going up. He, like, his quick, his first and second jump are so quick that it's really hard to compete with. So, saying all that to say this, man, is Zion Williamson a Rookie of the Year candidate, or is it the boy John Morant? Really, that's all I want to know today, this, this, this year. Who's going to be Rookie of the Year in y'all's opinion? I think it's a two-horse race right now, Zion Williamson or John Morant. Damn it, I say Zion Williamson or John Morant. Now, I will tell you this. I think that, Z that Zion has a snowball's chance in the Devil's, in the devil's Hot House. But I don't think he can win it because I feel like, to this point, John ja Morant has done more than enough to... All, all he has to do is continue to play like he's playing the rest of the year, and that's it. Because Ja's captivated our imaginations, too. He's been able to he's been able to run transition. He's jumping over people, almost getting these, these crazy dunks, all of that. He's playing at a level that we didn't expect him to play at either. So, you know, that's all I want to know from you guys, man. All of that just to say that. Who do you think is going to be the rookie of the year this year? Does, does Has Ja pretty much got it locked up and all he has to do is just coast to the finish? And, and um, like Shaq said, Zion probably got to average 30 the rest of the year to, to, to probably do it. He just missed too many games, in my opinion. I share the same opinion as Shaq. Or, and plus, Ja Morant is freaking balling, man. Or do you know, do you think that, uh, do you think that there's something that Zion can do outside of average 30 in order to, uh, in order to do it? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think, Zion? Who do you think is going to win it? And if Zion can win it, what do you think he has to do in order to do it? This is something else that I wanted to ask y'all real quick, man, before we get started, man. Look, this is a little social commentary. So I'm looking at this thing right here, man. And I see, I always see through memes and stuff. It says, a human heart costs $422,000. And I gave you mine for free, you ungrateful bitch. Hey, look, man. That always makes me think of this. A human heart costs $422,000. And a lot of us just have straight up organ donor on our licenses and stuff like that. Now, if I'm an organ donor, they still charge the person who had the surgery for the heart. So like when they when they go down the itinerary, even if you got a if even if you got a free heart from somebody, they still charge. I bet when they, when they go down the little list and, and itemize the charges, they're charging you four hundred twenty two four hundred forty two thousand dollars for that heart, and then plus the labor, they probably charging you like a buck a buck fifty to uh, cut you open and do all of that stuff. But they just got a free heart. Who the heck, why are they getting paid for something that I gave away? Why can't my family get, do y'all know how the organ donor stuff works? The, the, does the family of the person who donated the organs and stuff, do they get 
some of that money or anything like that? Or is it just a free ass heart and all this stuff goes, it goes to feed the bureaucracy that is the medical field? Just think about how messed up that is that they're getting free body parts from people and then they're selling them. That ain't no better than doggone catching the dude slipping and and like the urban legend where, where he wake up, he, he go holler at a girl and he wake up and his kidneys is in the tub, man. Anyway, I don't know, man. I just thought about that. I, I, asked, I, I used to ask Bridget that all the time. That's why she took me off the organ donor list. Like, it would be cool if, let's say something happens to me, I'm out of here, my body's recoverable, and they're able to take my heart and put it in somebody else's body and that person, and then they give my family a couple hundred grand. That's cool, but they don't, if they just not giving people nothing, bro, that's, that's fucked up. But hey, they probably aren't. But y'all let me know if y'all, if I have any medical professionals down there, y'all let me know if the family compensated for any of that stuff or, or, or is it just like, when you sign that contract and just saying you're giving this stuff up for free and we gonna sell your body parts. Anyway, man, on to the 2K news. Um, I'm Davis put up this video showing, some people were saying that the behind the back is back. I'm Davis is showing you what, what really is going on. He's saying it's not back, but it's, it's a little bit quicker. It's the same animation. It's been sped up a little bit, but um, it's just a little bit faster, and you can and you can you probably be able to combo out of it and do stuff like that. But it's, you still don't go anywhere. It's still not explosive. You're still not going from from hash to hash by doing it, and you're still not able to dance around screens and stuff like that. That's why this game is going a lot more toward the ISO or whatever. But um, you know, I, I don't know, man. Hey, let me know what yo have y'all seen anybody do the LTTs? I was playing against a guy the other day what was his name um uh he stole my wendy's or something like that and he was doing like a l2 cheese move half spin like it, it didn't matter what i did i could not body him up but he could body me up y'all let me know if, if that's a move in the game or uh, that you can do or is it like or is it like uh maybe he was maybe i was just lagging bad and he wasn't lagging because y'all know what i was telling y'all about uh, the other day when you're when you're delayed but the other person isn't delayed because it was in the park when I, it was in the raising randoms where i said i was delayed you know when you're delayed and the other person in delayed they can play outstanding defense on you but you can't play defense on them it just seems like like dude was just sprinting by me um like he was trying to go to the rim i was throwing this shit off the glass and stuff but it was just like I, it, it felt like i couldn't stay in front of him and i couldn't attach to him even though he wasn't doing any dribble moves it was like he would just turn his back and then just be gone and like I, I could never attach to him. I could never anticipate where he was going. It just hold me. Um, y'all, let me know. Does that sound like I was just lagging, or or, this, or does that sound like um, or does that sound like a cheese move that y'all know that we need to know about in the community? Speaking of cheese in the community, my boy, my boy, big boy IQ, sent me this right here, man. Champion shorts make you invisible. 2K, can we do better, please? Look at this. You see it right there. And they took them out of the store. Bro, this shows you right here. Look, I'm going to go over here, man. Look, I, this, this just shows you our community at its finest. Look, he put on the champion shorts. Boom. He's invisible. He takes them off. He comes back. Look at what people are saying in the comment section. I can't even find these in swags. What the F? They're not in swags, though. Y'all want Ronnie out there? Bro, who, who? Nobody don't want that. Why is this in the shirt category? Look at this, though. A man said they took them out because of the glitch. I'm just looking at how many people are like, why they can't find them. So that means that you you saw something. This is the community in a nutshell. We saw something. Damn, that's a glitch. I want to be invisible on the court and troll people. Let me do this, like, bro. Every you don't have to try to like any any advantage, any BS, any any craziness in the community. The whole community, we, we're going to try to go with it. We're going to try to uh, try to find it. Like, I was going to go to Swags to get it, to do a video to show, hey, this is something that's broken, and this is not Cap, what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it because I like to try to verify a lot of this stuff myself. But if they took them out of Swags, then that pretty much tells you that, uh, if they took them out of Swags, that pretty much tell you that what he was saying, it is legitimate. Like, that's just all to it. He puts the shorts on, he's gone. He takes them off, he's back. Look, click, boom. Put the shorts on, he's gone. He take the shorts off, he's back. And like dude said, why they in the shirt category? I don't know. But like, if you're trying to just try to verify the information, I get that. But these guys ain't trying to verify the information. They're trying to do it. That's why EJ did the video the other day about he was selling this 2K back and it was going to give him like $6 for it for a game that he paid $60 for because, um, 
his like, hey, the, the invisible glitch is in the game, I'm out. But like, at least 2K got in front of it and uh, they were able to update the store, even though they act like they can't update the store with other stuff. But hey, you know, they finally updated the store and they finally got that, um, they finally got that done. Hey, it is what it is. But 2K, you gotta do better, my guys. You have to, we got to do better as far, like stuff like this, you, who puts something in the game and then doesn't go equip it? That's what I want to know. How could this glitch even make it through to the live game? That's this beyond the shadow of a doubt shows that they just don't test the game. They don't test it. They don't play it. They don't do anything with it. This, you don't even got to, you know what I'm saying? You, don't even, you just got to equip them. I bet you could have equipped these in swags and been like, just wear them out and it would have done that. Like, who doesn't equip the clothes that they put in the store to find these glitches? Like, we, we live beta testers, man. That's what we're doing. We are beta testers for this game. Last but not least, man, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Did 2K take an L on this one? Did, if, do, does anybody that you know have these shorts and they have them on and all this stuff, man? Y'all let me know down in the comments. And last but not least, your boy Duke Dennis. Hey, bro. Shout out to all the 2K YouTubers who are grinding even though 2K didn't give us a lot to work with. Keep it up, because it's gonna pay off, 100. Now look, this guy Bass Plug right here, he says, uh, I hope so. They ain't right. Hey, but Bass Plug, he thriving this year, man. He doing his thing. This cat right here, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, it's taking the pains out of, out, of, out of your boy book. I said, look, if they been paying attention, they should know that you and Ticino grinded 2K18, even though everyone said it was ass and how it paid off for you. So, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, even though everybody said it was ass and how it paid off for you, so they should know those who put in the work in the down years tend to get their comeuppance in the next good year. That's why I continue to grind this game. That's why I keep putting this game. That's why I keep doing what I do, because I know how everybody came up. Duke, Duke put out jump shot video after jump shot video in uh, 2K18, played the game, did his thing. Brother Jones did the same thing for 17 when people were trying to act like it was bad, but that's when Brother Jones really, really had his, his come up in 2 and 18. He grinded that game. Um, Ticino grinded that game. All these guys put in the work when everybody said that the game was trash, and then next year when the game came out and, and, and it was 19, which 19 is a game that I felt like was trash, but the community as a whole didn't feel like that. So they put in the work in a game where, where it was a consensus that the community thought the game was trash. They put in their work. Look where they are right now. Ticino, he's up there. Duke is up there. Duke almost at a million. And then our uh, brother Jones, I don't know what he is, but I know he ain't working no nine to five because he killing it, right? And then, I mean, you got all you got all types of people, man. So that's how the, that's just how the game goes, man. If you put in the work when something isn't popular, you get in the algorithm, your uh your your game got, even Davis grinded uh seven eight eighteen like that. He was getting mad views. Like me and Man Man was like, bro, ain't nobody getting no views off eighteen. And he was like, shit, just ain't nobody that we were looking at because there was a lot of people that were getting views. Anyway, man, let me know down in the comments what y'all guys think, man. Do we keep grinding this year? Or should we just shut it down? I don't know. I'm going to keep on grinding, man, because I feel like on next gen will be the comeuppance of this channel. And if it ain't, I'm just going to do NBA news because I'm actually pretty good at that. Anyway, man, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. Uh, who do y'all want to go with for rookie of the year this year? I already said I'm going with John Morant. Are y'all going with uh, Zion Williamson? Damn it, I say Zion Williamson or John Morant. Let me know down in the comments. And like I said, if I got a healthcare professional down in the comments, if I got a healthcare professional man that watches these videos, does the family, does the does the donating family get any of this, or do they just not charge the person for the body part when this comes from a heart from from a from a donor? So is it just a free body part for the person who's re, who's the recipient when you're on the list, or do you still got to pay for that heart? You got to pay for the actual heart and for the procedure, or is the or is it free? I want to know, man, because I feel like the families of the people who donate this stuff need to be compensated, man. I'm just saying, if somebody, huh? Why? Why not? If the hospital charges you four hundred thousand oh, dollars. The family who donated the heart should be compensated. 
Because otherwise, the hospital and the healthcare industry, they just getting the free four hundred and some thousand dollars. But it cost me my, it, like I wasn't gonna do nothing with the heart because that's my family member who's gone. I wasn't gonna do nothing with the heart. But damn, four hundred and forty-two thousand dollars ain't no ain't no little bit of damn money. So they should give the the, the donor's family something. Why should the hospital make all that money? No, I was trying to understand. Or you know the healthcare industry or whatever. Yeah. But anyway. I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'm going to y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. Big A to people tell. Gosh. Hey!